Hi, this is Jeff, and in this uh, tutorial, I'll show you how to create a zoom effect in Articulate Studio and PowerPoint. Um, unlike in Articulate Storyline, where we have a default zoom feature that we can apply to an image when we select the format uh, uh, option when we have image selected, uh, we don't have that in uh, Articulate Studio or PowerPoint. So, how do I create such a zoom effect? Um, basically, it's a simple two slide. Uh, operation uh, and I'll show you in a second. Let's first take a look at my published example. I've got an image here and basically it's a picture of a notepad with a, a graph on it and I want the user to uh, click on it to zoom. So I click, voila. The zoom comes up, I can now read my chart uh, and if I want to go back I click it again and I'm back in my main slide. So looks pretty nice, right? How do I put this together? Let's jump into PowerPoint. And what I've got here is my uh, initial slide and my zoom slide. And the big red uh, transparent layer you see here is actually my hotspot where I have a hyperlink on. Um, the hyperlink is a clickable area. And for this example, I made them a little red. For the end state, I'm going to put them on full transparency. And the same thing here. Select my hotspot, format shape, full transparency. So there's a transparent layer over my image with a hyperlink on it. This hotspot hyperlinks to this slide and this massive hotspot hyperlinks back to this slide. So how do we start this? Um, I always design this with the end state in mind. So my last slide, I want it to be the image to be crisp and clear. So I go for a image with a proper resolution to be seen on uh, full screen size. And then I can scale that down for my initial slide. So it will always look good and be readable, which is very important. The idea here is that when a user clicks on this hotspot, it will zoom. Um, and in Storyline, you've got layers, uh, which you can have appear on a trigger, but we don't have that in, in uh, Studio. But basically, every slide you've got is a layer. And as long as you don't display it in the menu or display the menu at all, no one's going to know, right? So this is basically just an, a, a hidden layer. As I mentioned, on this uh, hotspot, I've got a hyperlink to my zoom sli slide. And what I do here is I've got my group with my chart image and my notepad. And I could have created one image out of that, but I uh, kept them uh, apart. And all I did is go to the animations pane and put a zoom on it. And it plays out like this. And now because I've put a uh, page transition on it as well, on both uh, slides that fades, it will appear that this slide will fade, or the book will fade and open up into this zoom state. Because I don't have it on the background here. And that gives it effect that the document actually dis disappears and zooms up. So let's take a look at that again. Document links to the next slide. And as you saw, it disappears in the background and comes zooming in. And I also did a little effect here on the uh, magnification glass, uh, the pulse effect which is an effect that uh, Articulate Studio also uh, understands. That's it. Just create two slides, your initial state slide and your zoom slide. Have a nice uh, effect in there if you like, but that's how easy it is to create the zoom effect.